Hi there, future Real Deal nurse practitioners. My name is Ashley and I'm a family nurse practitioner and an instructor here at SMMP Reviews. In this video, we're answering a big question that a lot of students have when they first start studying for their FMP or AGP CMP boards. What professional role topics do I actually need to know? You've probably heard that the board exams are all about clinical content. And don't get me wrong, clinical topics make up a big piece of the puzzle. But both the AANP and ANCC exam blueprints include professional role topics. So if you're wondering what actually counts as professional role, what you're expected to know, and why it matters, you're in the right place. Let's start with the research basics, things like understanding the hierarchy of evidence and study designs. Think of this as the pyramid of research power. At the top, we've got the gold standard studies, like meta-analysis, for example. In the middle, we have what we like to call the C studies. So think cohort, case control, or cross-sectional. And at the bottom, we have things like expert opinion. Those, of course, are not as strong, but still worth understanding. Now, the key takeaway is that you don't need to differentiate every middle-tier study type on your exam. Focus on recognizing what's top tier, what's bottom tier, and work your way from there. You'll also want to be comfortable with terms like validity, reliability, sensitivity, and specificity. For example, validity asks, did we measure what we meant to measure? While reliability asks, would we get the same result if we did it again? These might sound abstract now, but they actually show up in a lot of evidence-based practice questions. Next up is prevention levels and patient-centered care. You could see questions that ask you to distinguish primary, secondary, and tertiary prevention. A quick trick is that primary equals prevent, secondary equals screen, tertiary equals treat. It's all about matching the right intervention to the right point in the disease timeline. And then we have those important communication strategies like motivational interviewing and shared decision making. Now make sure you understand techniques like ORs and how to meet a patient where they're at using models like the stages of change. You'll also want to have a basic handle on a few foundational nursing theories, things like the Roy adaptation model or the health belief model. You don't need to memorize full chapters of theory, but you do need to recognize what they represent. For example, the Roy model focuses on how people adapt to health changes across physical, emotional, and social domains while the health belief model is all about predicting health behaviors based on things like perceived risk and self-efficacy. These theories aren't just abstract. They tie directly into real question scenarios about patient care, compliance, and decision-making. Health policy and the business of healthcare also come into play. This includes the basics of Medicare and Medicaid, how billing works, and what an MPI number is. Now, you don't have to be a coding pro, but you do want to know the difference between ICD-10 and CPT codes and how to apply e &M visits based on visit complexity. Then there's those ethical terms we all know and love, autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice. These can be embedded into patient scenarios, so be ready to apply them rather than just define them. For example, respecting a patient's decision to decline treatment, even if you believe it's not the best choice, is a clear example of autonomy in action. And finally, know the basics of licensure, certification, credentialing, and collaborative agreements. This stuff matters not only for the test, but also for real-world practice. You want to walk into your first job with a confident understanding of what makes your MP role official and how to protect your license. So while it might be tempting to brush off professional roles as just fluff, let me tell you, these topics are testable and more importantly, they're foundational to safe, effective MP practice. And we've packed all of it in much more depth into our QBank and course materials. Because if you know us, you know we're here to help you feel ready for everything boards might throw your way. We've got several different course options that will fit your different studying needs. If you're looking for a free community of students prepping just like you, make sure to join our Facebook group. Links to both the review courses and our Facebook group will be in the description of this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, you're almost there. You're right around the corner from being a real deal MP. We know that with the right tools and preparation, passing is within reach. Be sure to check out our other free videos and our courses. As we like to say here at SMMP Reviews, we are rooting for you.